Okay, we're back. Um, so we've added, added top names and bottom names. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to highlight, I'm going to turn the top names back on. There we go. Now you can kind of get start seeing an idea how this is going to look. Um, I can select these now. And actually, what I should have done, I'll show you. So you don't have to worry about accidentally not selecting a vec, you know, one of these things. Let's turn off bottom names real quick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these all together and I'm going to group them. All right, there we go. So top names, bottom names. There we go. So now if I select any of those top names, it's going to pick everything all at once. I'm going to move it up stack it on top of there we go so again that starts giving you a general idea of what we're looking at what this sign is going to look like now the top the the children's names in this family i'm actually going to put i'd like to put it on the top layer um, i just wanted to do this part just to show you the general family you know, the general appearance of this so for the the other names i'm looking at laura Cody, I'm sorry, Sophia, Calliope, and Lyndon. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how to put all four of those names down in this area. Just come up with a cool way of doing it. I'm just going to kind of size them however. So the first one is Sophia. I'm going to put punch her in there. And basically... I'm going to go ahead and just leave him as Times New Roman. That's cool. All right, so there we got Sophia. Now, technically I just made a mistake because I put for Sophia, uh, Sophia on bottom names. So I don't want that. But what I can do, I want to move this to the top. I want to move this to top names. So what we can do now, I'm going to not copy to layer. I'm going to move this completely to the top names. Now, that should mean, yes, there we go. So now Sophia is part of the top names. Now, since I'm adding to the top layer, the top layer of this stack text sign, if I'm adding more to the top layer, I have got to select this because this is what signifies which layer you're actually working under. It can get really complicated when you start accidentally putting things in different layers and you're, you know, it just doesn't work out. So you wanna make sure whatever you're trying to do up here is top names, this is what I'm working on because I want all this text to be on the top layer. Okay, so we're working on top names. I'm gonna move Sophia down here and for now, I'm also going to turn on bottom names so I can make sure none of this conflicts. Myers is going to be buried deep down in the wood, which makes it pretty cool. So I'm going to make Sophia a little bit smaller because i got to fit four names on here. And I'm going to do something else to make this a little cooler. Okay, so the next name is Calliope. I hope that's the right pronunciation. I think that should be right. Sophia. All right, we're working on top names. It's K A L L I O P E. Good. Apply. For now, I'm just going to move them around. I'll, I'll adjust them here in a second. So the next name is, actually, it's not four. It's three. That's right. Okay, so Sophia, Calliope, and Lyndon. All right, so let's unclick that. Nope, not text in a box. We don't want that. We want regular text. Lyndon, L-Y-N-D-O-N. -N. Okay. 
Okay, so now let's move Linden. We'll do... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move Calliope to the center by hitting F9. And go ahead and move her down. Oh, I know what I need to have room for is the established date. Okay, so I guess we'll kind of make that a little small because I think it's more about the family names than the established date. All right, so this is pretty sweet here. All right, let's move Linden. Okay, so Linden and Calliope are... Let's see what size they are. Okay, they're a true one inch, so we can't make Sophia smaller, because that's not cool. We're gonna make her one inch also. So let's change this to one, so everybody's the same size. Actually, considering everything, I'm gonna make them all a little bit smaller. So we'll highlight Sophia. Everybody gets to be 0 0.8. All right, so Sophia gets smaller. I'm going to highlight Calliope. She gets to be 0 0.8. And Lyndon gets to be 0.8. Okay, so they all got a little smaller, and I'll show you why I did that here in a minute. <clears throat> now, one thing I'm going to do to help all these line up, I don't know if you can see my cursor, but up here... Near this 3D, if you click anywhere up here, you can bring down a line. And that's pretty nice for lining up text. Just to make sure they're all, you know, kind of level. There we go. Alright, so I like that. Now what I'm going to do, and this makes it a nice little cool factor, I'm going to highlight all three, and I'm going to offset these outwards about at least 0.2. We'll see how it looks. Oh, I that came because I had inwards selected as a failure. We're going to bring it outwards, 0.2. Cool, I like that. Now, these little vectors there that I'm highlighting, I'm just going to kill. Oh, uh, undo. Okay, select these vectors, because I really don't want those in there. Delete those. There we go. We got a nice little gap. That looks pretty sweet. Okay, so next, I need to do the established date. And the established date, I always got to check my phone to make sure I get it right, uh, 2014. So we'll make that a little smaller so it doesn't you know, be stand out as much. So we're going to do est period and hit enter 2014. And we're going to have all this on the top. All right, so we're going to move this over. I don't particularly like that. Um, Let's change that up a little bit. I'm going to highlight that. We're going to go back. Let's do it this way. All right, so we're going to move that down to our little line. I guess I could grab this little handle here. I could maybe do that a little bit. Not sure if I'm digging that. Uh, let's undo that. Maybe I'll change the text, the actual font. We're going to change it to trebuchet and italic. There we go. It just looks a little different. That's cool. And almost out of time on this video. Let's see if I can get this in real quick. We're going to offset that one outwards, 0.2, to give it a nice little boom. I don't like that one little tiny vector right there. I'm going to delete it. Okay, I'll see you on the next video. This will be video number three.